Well, above average snow and rain the last few seasons is one reason for the increasing water levels on the Great Lakes. Storm Team 5 meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger looks at the reasons and the hazards that come with higher water levels. Since its low point in 2013, water levels in Lake Michigan have been on a steady increase over the last several years. This is increasing the potential for lakeshore flooding and erosion along Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay. So the water levels are high right now and um, the first thing to understand about the Great Lakes water levels is that they undergo cycles. They're natural variations. Sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low. And these are, you know, over several years you'll go from a high to a low level and that's if you look at the long history which we've got uh, many many decades of records of water levels you can see that very clearly in the record there are several factors that play a role in the water levels such as precipitation over and around the lake as well as evaporation the drainage basins are extremely large for the great lakes as you might imagine so it doesn't have to be raining right over the lake for you to have runoff go into the lake eventually and raise the water levels the precipitation drives about 90% of the variation of the water levels. So just if, it's, if we get more snow in the wintertime, if we get more rain in the summertime, uh, you're generally going to see lake levels rise. The last record high set in the Lake Michigan Huron system was in the mid-1980s when water levels reached 582.35 feet. That was close to 3.5 feet above the long-term average. You know, you can talk about conditions in which the levels above the long-term average can be several feet above that average. And the impact of that is that you have a lot of you know, shoreline erosion. Uh, here in the Milwaukee area, we have a lot of places that are sort of on the bluffs over, over the shore, and you get a lot of erosion in those bluffs, and people who have houses and other things close to that are very concerned, obviously, because of that erosion. So that's one of the big impacts. The water levels in the Lake Michigan-Huron system are expected to be near 581 feet for the month of May. The National Weather Service also monitors the water levels closely and is prepared to issue various alerts to warn the public of potential dangers. You know, we have the lakeshore uh, flood warning, which is something when, you know, something a little more serious, you know, threatens life or property or significant